Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited that you're here because in today's video, we're doing the highly requested denim on denim. Before we get into this video, if this is your first time here, my name is Ashley Park. Welcome to Park Avenue. I do videos like these all the time. I do outfits of the week every single week, unboxing, styling videos, outfit ideas. If that's the kind of content that you like to see, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you also hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any uploads. So I got a lot of requests to do denim on denim looks and in my outfit of the week videos, you guys seem to really enjoy when I actually do the denim on denim outfits and I pair them with blazers and things like that. So I figured I would finally put together some looks that are denim inspired and they're perfect for the spring, perfect for transitioning. So let's get into the first outfit. So here's the first outfit. Outfit? <laughs> I decided I wanted to pair some of these looks with heels and flats just to mix it up a little bit. But this first outfit is pretty casual. This top is from Target. It's from their Wild Fable brand. And then these jeans are from Nordstrom, but the brand is called Rag and Bone. My shoes are from French Connection. I got them from a Dillard's, I believe, somewhere in Alabama. I got them a really long time ago. They're super old. But I know as of recently, one of you guys posted in the Facebook group that you were able to find some gold, some silver Sam Edelman flats that had like a little gold bar on the top. Super cute, so definitely check out some of the links I'm gonna have in the description box because if I can find those, I'll link them in the description box below as well. And then I decided to pair it with my Saint Laurent puffer. I felt like because I'm sticking with the grays that this puffer was really cute with it, but you could also downsize. I'm gonna show you how it looks with the crossbody as well. Here it is with a smaller crossbody bag so you can keep the casual feel if you wanna be hands free. This is a perfect outfit for when you want to be cute, kind of put together, just like easy breezy, but still look good and just run out and do your errands or have a little lunch, something like that where you could just be hands free, you don't have to worry about it. And the shirt is slightly oversized just because I want to do a really easy French tuck. I just tucked in like half of it. I buttoned it all the way down except for the last one and then I was able to just do a comfortable tuck, blouse it out a little bit in the back and I left this side out. So that was it and then my bag just lays comfortably on this side. If you want, you can do the reverse, but I just felt like this was the most comfortable. And then my jeans I like a lot because they are cropped and they have that kicked flare that's actually really on trend right now. So I like these and I know Zara had done another um, version of this, so check them out as well. If I can find them, if they still have them, I'll link those in the description box too. What do you guys think about this look? And I also decided for this look to keep my jewelry gold. I'm into really mixing my metals a lot now. That wasn't something I liked before, but I told you guys in a previous video that I recently got a ring. Well, not that recently, but I got a ring from Zara that I could also link in the description box that was gold and silver. And I really love it now. So I just decided to just keep on my gold jewelry because I feel like it just all goes together. It looks really good. And really, the buttons have a little silver accent and my shoes are metallic silver. But everything else, it just kept it gold. The bag is neutral, there's no other hardware. So I feel like if it's something that you're interested in doing, just try it and see how you like it. It's best to just experiment, fine tune your own style, see what you feel is the most comfortable. And if you like it, go with it. I'm pretty sure people are going to like, like it just because it's like your personality. That's what's the most important. So right now, this is my vibe, mixing my metals. Next look, this top is similar to the top that I got from Target, but this one is actually from J. Crew. So if you don't want to pay J. Crew prices, then check out Target. They actually have a lot of variety there, and they have some with buttons too that don't snap if that's a preference for you. Because I have a thing about snapping, like on with my shirts, I don't like them to snap clothes if they fit me like my true size. But if they're slightly oversized and I'm not worried about it, I just have this irrational fear that they're gonna pop open, especially around the bust, because that's where shirts tend to pull on me. So if you're larger busted, then you probably know what I'm saying. So, but no worries here. This one fits really well. This is from J. Crew, like I said. And then these jeans are really cool because they kind of have like a patchwork thing going on, and it definitely has a 70s vibe. These are from The Gap, they're their cheeky straight leg jeans and they have a very small percentage of spandex. So I think the fit is more of a true denim fit, which I am really into right now. It is a little bit of a struggle to get them on because of that super low percentage of uh, spandex. They're almost 100% cotton, so you might have to go up a size, but they're definitely worth trying. I like them a lot. They look cute with these flats here. These are my Gucci loafers, but you can do Sam Edelman loafers, you can do um, some regular sandals, you don't have to do these, but I just wanted to give you a feel for how you can make this look a little bit more elevated. And then I just have on a basic 
of everyday color bag. This is my Chloe bag, but you can do whatever basic everyday bag you have. It doesn't have to be this one. But I really like this look. And you could throw on a cool pair of shades and do like a whole 70s inspired outfit. Really nice oversized shades. Let me just show you a pair. I just threw on these Gucci butterfly shades. You can do any oversized shades you have, but I think something really extreme, oversized, is perfect for the look to give that 70s vibe. You can even throw on a chain belt if you have one. Just go crazy with this look. Really embellish it a lot. I think that's the great thing about denim on denim is that you can add a lot of embellishment. It just always look good. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. You can see in some of my work week outfits that I do a blazer with my denim on denim. It's just so much you can do with it. Here's the next look, you guys. I decided to pair this denim jacket with a nude bodysuit and white jeans. White jeans, we're gonna be wearing so much in the spring and summer. I wear them a lot as the weather warms up, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will too. One thing I would say about wearing white jeans, because I hear a lot of people say that they feel like white jeans show too many of their flaws, they don't feel confident in white jeans. A good way to wear white jeans is just like this. I have on a nude bodysuit and then I'm wearing a heel. These are crop jeans, but this heel is a nude mule. These are from Zara. I love these because it looks like I don't really have anything on my feet. You know how Barbie dolls stand up on their toes? I feel like this shoe gives me that effect, and it keeps everything nice and long. And then I just threw on the denim jacket, and the denim jacket nips me in at the waist. It's not very defined, but it's an outfit finisher, and it's that topper piece that brings everything together. And because it has the brown, sort of tones in it, it looks really great paired with this bodysuit. So I like the neutrality of this outfit, it looks really good. And then I just paired it with this white belt, just so that the belt just like blends into the rest of the look. A little bit of gold embellishment to keep your eye in the center, and it keeps everything nice and pulled in. And then I'm just wearing this bag, this is my Pochette Matisse, and a pair of sunglasses, of course. And that's the look. These sunglasses have a little bit of a pearl accent. I actually featured these in a video I did a while back and I showed you guys a little bit of my sunglass collection. I'll link that video in the description box and I'll also put it in the card so you can check it out if you wanna get some summer inspiration for the kinds of sunglasses you might want in your collection. Here's the last look I have for you guys, a Levi's denim jumpsuit. There are so many denim jumpsuits out there right now because denim jumpsuits are big for the spring. They're big on trend and you can find them at Zara, I've seen them at Target, I've seen a lot of them. So I'll find some online and I'll link them in the description box. But this one I actually got from Nordstrom Rack and they have another one that I'll link in the description box. It's darker, this one's not available anymore but that one is still really cute. Now this one I just decided to pair it with this cute little belt bag slash wallet that I got from Gucci, but you can do any belt bag. Even if you have a regular belt bag, like the traditional ones that actually go around your waist, that'll be really cute. Tons of gold jewelry or whatever kind of jewelry you like, a nice bold earring. And then I just decided to wear my same Zara Mules. Nice and clear, keep all the lines long. But you can do a flat sandal with this, maybe something that's strappy, that'll be really cute as well. It's just really easy because you can dress this down and be very casual or you can even throw a blazer on top of this if you wanted to. It could add a little bit more volume so just be careful there but a denim jumpsuit is a great base to take it wherever you want to go with it. guys those are the looks that I chose for you keep it simple with denim on denim you don't have to go crazy with it but it is a good base to really accessorize because denim can hold up to chunky jewelry lots of gold but if that's not your personality if that's not your style then keep it simple do little stud earrings and maybe a couple of bracelets you can do sneakers, you can do flats, you can do heels. There's just so much you can do with denim on denim. And if you think it's just too much to figure out what denim pieces to put together, then get yourself a denim jumpsuit. It's really easy, really simple. It's already done for you and you don't have to think about it. And some of you might already know, but if you don't, I have a Facebook group called What I Wore This Week. If Facebook isn't your thing or if Facebook is your thing and you also use Instagram, 
I want you guys to start using the hashtag what I wore this week so we can extend the community. Those of you who like to use Instagram as well or only use Instagram will be able to participate. Use the hashtag what I wore this week. You can also follow that hashtag and that way we can extend the community. We can communicate on another level and I can get outfit inspiration ideas from you guys. You guys can inspire others. It's a great way for us to find each other on Instagram as well. So don't forget, use that hashtag, what I wear this week. I'll leave it in the description box. And also, I know I've been taking a while to upload new items to the closet sale, but give me a minute, I'm working on that. I got all the items that I want to put on the closet sale. I just have to take the photos. So they'll be up there really soon and I'll make an announcement when I do. So check my community page, check the Facebook group, Check anywhere you can find me because I will announce when the new pieces are on the closet sale, especially in my Instagram stories. I'll, of course, update you guys there if you're not on Facebook. But don't forget, use that hashtag what I wore this week because that'll be a great way to also stay up to speed on lots of information. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget, leave it in the comments and let me know which outfit was your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy it, give me a thumbs down, but make sure you leave it in the comments and let me know why because so I can improve my content, I'll try. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.